All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 to the power of x. So I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 333. Now, 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's simply equal to 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 333. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by three. So then these two cancel out, and now I have three to the power of x is equal to 333 divided by three, which is 111. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log three to the power of x is equal to log 111. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x, move x to the front, so then I have x times log 3 is equal to log 111. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 111 over log 3. Now, log 111, this is equal to 2.0453, and log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So I have x is equal to 2.04. 5, 3 over 0 0.4771. So now this is equal to 4.2869. So this is my answer. Now to check. I have 3 to the power of x is equal to, or sorry, 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. x is equal to 4.2869, so I have 3 to the power of 4.2869 plus 3 to the power of 4.2869 plus 3 to the power of 4.2869 is equal to 333. 3 to the power of 4.2869 is, sorry, if you add up all these, you get 333.0369, which is approximately equal to 333. So this is right. All right, so in this problem, I have m to the power of 3 plus m is equal to 350. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 350 on both sides. So these two cancel out, and now I have m to the power of 3 plus m minus 350 is equal to 0. Now, m to the power of 3 plus m minus 350, well, I can rewrite 350 here as negative 343 minus 7. So now I have m to the power of 3 minus 347 plus m minus 7 is equal to 0. Well, m to the power of 3 minus 347, this is the same thing as m to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3. And I have this plus m minus 7. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is m and b is 7. So I have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus 7 squared. I have this plus m minus 7 is equal to 0.
Now, 7 squared is the same thing as 49, so I have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus 49 plus m minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out m minus 7, I have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus 49 plus 1 which is equal to 50. So this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have m minus 7 is equal to 0, and I have m squared plus 7m plus 50 is equal to 0. So m minus 7 equals 0. This is the same thing as m equals 7, so this is already one solution of m. And m squared plus 7m plus 50, you have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is the same thing as negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared, which is 49, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 50. And if you notice, this is the same thing as the square root of 49 minus 200, which is going to be a negative number, meaning this won't work, and my only solution is m equals 7. All right, so in this problem, I have 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to 9 to the power of 11. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to 9 to the power of 11. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to log 9 to the power of 11. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I move this x1 and b to the front. So this is equal to b times log a. So I can move 9x plus 11 to the front, and I can move 11 to the front. So now I have 9x plus 11 times log 11 is equal to 11 times log 9. Now if I divide both sides by log 11, these two cancel out, and I have 9x plus 11 is equal to 11 times log 9 over log 11. And now log 9, this is equal to 0 0.9542. And log 11, this is equal to 1.0414. So now if I plug these values in for log 9 and log 11, I have 9x plus 11 is equal to 11 times 0 0.9542 over 1.0414. Now, 0 0.9542 over 1.0414, that's going to equal 11 times 0 0.9163, which is equal to 9x plus 11 is equal to 10.0789. So I have this minus 11. So now I have 9x is equal to negative 0 0.9211 meaning x is equal to negative 0 0.1023.